Okay. So today I was in class, right? And um, we were sharing journals, and this one girl, she uh, wrote a journal entry based on an article, and it was it is recent news there was an old article about the woman who carved a C in her face, who she she was allegedly attacked at an ATM and she was robbed, and um, her attacker had carved the letter C in her face, saying for Barack Obama, um, because the woman had been representing the king, and come to find out that the girl lied, and she had it herself, and what kind of, what kind of, you know, put the icing on the cake was the fact that the B was written backwards, as if she had been standing in the mirror writing it, you know, so from her angle, it looked like it was written correctly, but it was actually from, like, right to left, instead of left to right, and, which was some dumb shit, but, um, I just want to make a quick little video about that because honestly, people, I think it's, it's, it amazes me. It absolutely amazes me how far people will take it. Like, like America, are we really that afraid of this man being president? Like, you know what I'm saying? I've never got on here and disrespected anybody who voted for McCain because I feel like if you voted for McCain, you have to have had your reasons. But I have stated that a lot of people who um, who voted in this election specifically voted because, you know, voted McCain because they didn't want to see a black man in office. Um, it has been proven that a lot of McCain supporters were, um, were pro McCain and against Obama because he was considered a black man to them. Um, you know, it didn't matter if his views were great or not. They could have been, like, he could have been ten times better than, than McCain in all uh, actuality, but they will they refuse to vote for a black man. You know, and um, it's all over YouTube, you know, please don't just take my word for it. I'm not gonna post a link because I don't have time to be looking for that shit. But if you did all you gotta do is type in KKK and Obama and something will come up with some racist person talk either talking about Obama or stating how they're not voting for Obama, they will not, you know, represent a nigger, they will not take any part of nigger controlling the country and or represent the United States of America. Um it's and it's, I was thinking like damn I've been getting a lot of hateful ass comments from people who, you know, who are bashing me because I refer to Obama as black. But what people don't understand is Obama is considered black, not because I said it, but because, you know, from America's viewpoint, he is considered a black man. Now, I'm not just saying because he looks black, but if you look at the percentage, if you look up the percentage of Americans um, living in this country, they'll have it separated by the percentage of minorities and the percentage of Caucasians or whites. Um, and I've been getting a lot of comments like, oh, you know, people like you who divide America by race and color are racist. You know, I got called a racist. And, you know, but when you think about it, it's not me. America itself, society itself separates us as people and categorizes us based on our race. You have the whites and then you have the minority group, which consists of Asians, Native Americans, Hispanics, and Blacks. So if we were not considered minorities, if, you know, Really, who's the racist? Me or America? You know what I'm saying? Um, why why am I considered a minority? Because I have white in me too. You know what I'm saying? Barack Obama will be considered a minority because he has black heritage. He is of black heritage. He is 50% black, making him a minority. He is not full white, so he's not in that white category. You know what I'm saying? At, at least not, you know, speaking from you know, uh, speaking from the percentage of minorities in America as opposed to the percentage of whites in America, when they look at that percentage, they're considering those white, that percentage of white people or white Americans in this country as fully white, not white and something else. And then you look at the minority group, you have a mixture of minorities who are either full Hispanic, Native American, Asian, or black, or mixed breed. They have other um, races combined that make up a minority. 
So Barack Obama, in all actuality, will be considered minority. He will be considered white. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny how y'all coming at me and saying, oh, well, he's half white too, or he's all white. Da -da -da -da. You know, trying to ignore the fact that he's half black too. Trying to, you know, ignore the fact that he has black in him and just trying to, you know, just totally control him, like divide him up into just one part because you just you want to refuse the fact that he has half black in him. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to refuse that he, he is even black at all and claiming him as a full white person when when in reality he's not. Um, and if that's the case, then my question to you people, and please, if you know, please answer this question for me. Then if that's the case and Barack Obama isn't just black, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and if I'm wrong for considering him black and if he's all white, like you say, then what am I? Because my great grandfather was Irish, full full blood Irish. My grandmother on my father's side is half Irish and half black. My great grandmother was a slave. Um, so yes, yeah, she was a house slave. Um, so you know she pretty much did not go to school. She did not. She did not have an education. She worked in white people's houses. She cleaned house for white families. All her life and my grandmother could not um, she she was not able to um, to get past the fifth grade education I believe it was fifth or sixth grade education she does not have over a fifth or sixth grade education because she had to stop and take care of her mother and clean houses for white men and women and white families to support herself and her mother um, so I mean, when people come at me and try to talk to me about, you know, I'm this, that, and the third because, you know, I refer to Barack Obama as black, then you tell me what he is because I'm Irish. So does that make me white because I have white in me? Because Barack Obama is biracial just like I'm biracial. I'm not all black, but I'm not all white. I'm biracial. Barack Obama is not all black and he's not all white either, so he's biracial. Therefore, he's a minority. I'm considered a minority. You know what I'm saying? Statistically speaking, I'm, I'm scientifically speaking, statistically speaking, I am a minority. I'm not considered white. You look at me, you would not say I'm a white person. You would not, you, you would not even, white would not even pop into your head. You probably think some other shit. You probably say, oh, Dominican, oh, you know, Puerto Rican, oh, black, or, you know. But you would never look at me and say, that's a white guy. You will never look at Barack Obama and say, that's a white guy. So, that's the only reason, please don't confuse me, people. That's the reason why I refer to him as black is because of the fact that he will be considered a minority, just like I myself will be considered a minority and not white. Even though I have white in me, the fact that I am mixed with something of another race that is within the minority group, I am considered a minority. I am not considered white. So, that's the point I was trying to make to y'all. And a lot of people just don't want, you know, I feel like it's very, like, you know, people get offended when you touch that, that racial subject. But I think, you know, the racism is coming from y'all. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you're ignoring the fact that he is a man of color is racist to me. Why are you trying to ignore that? Why do you refuse to accept that? What's the problem with him being black at all? You know what I'm saying? Um, and another question I have is, if he's not black, then why are people trying to kill him? He stands for, you know, the same type of views that Bill Clinton stood for, and I ain't hear about nobody trying to shoot him up. You know what I'm saying? So why is it that? Because Barack Obama happens that he has black, and he has a black wife and two black kids that they want to assassinate him, take a father away from his children and a husband away from his wife. That doesn't make any sense to me. But please, if y'all feel differently, if y'all disagree with me or anything I said, respectfully come to my page, send me a message or an email, or even a comment and respectfully do so. Do not come on here hating, because I will simply ignore you and block you. Do not come up on here disrespecting me or cussing me out, because I'm not even going to tolerate it. So, if you disagree, I will respectfully respond. If you respect, if you respectfully come at me with a disagreement, if you feel something different. Um, but just Please, y'all answer those questions for me and get back to me. So, be glad.